Someone found him in a box um, with a ginormous head, uh, infected head. You couldn't even see his eye. Oh my God. Oh, this is not good. I know. You see all that blood? Yeah. He, this dog needs to see a vet immediately. Thank you for watching Dog Rescue TV. Subscribe to Dog Rescue TV and stay a while. Let's save some dogs. For this morning, we're going to run over and pick up Jessica. We have a dog that is in a uh, abandoned house that needs to be um, rescued. She has a wound on her side. It looks like an abscess of some sort. Jessica, we didn't see her yesterday briefly. Uh, we could not catch her. We didn't have the trap with us. But uh, we noticed she has some wounds, so we don't know if she's been shot or what, what the situation is. But we see that she has a huge... Uh, looks like a tumor or a mask of some sort on her side and she's in very bad shape. We get her in the house yesterday and um, she was a little fearful and stuff and we didn't want her to, there's glass and stuff, so we didn't want her to get hurt and uh, we didn't want to get hurt. So we decided the best thing to do was to come back with the trap because she's, al she's already injured so we don't want to, you know, cause any further injury to her. So we just decided together that it would be the best idea would be to trap her um, and then get her immediately to the vet's office. How long has that white one been there? Uh, approximately, it was it was so sick it was skin and bones. I gave it a couple of bones a few times, but I don't want to start feeding a stray dog because I don't want to start something I'm not going to keep up. Thanks, man. Take care.
heated these days, aren't you? So it looks like she's in heat or something. Got something going on back here. Got a huge, some type of wound mass on the side here. And uh, it's in bad shape. So. Hi. Well, your tail is wagging. Yeah, I, think I was just speaking with a neighbor who has given me a little update as well on her and he said it was hard not to give her a, a treat here and there to help her out but was really hoping somebody was going to come and yeah. he also gave me a heads up of a couple that are two blocks over. Oh okay. Hi Mama. Hi good girl. You should go see her little setup. Yeah. yeah. She got a little. Does she just have puppies? No. She looks like Over. she's in heat. Yeah, she's Boy, in heat. Boy, she smells. Hi, good girl. Hi, good girl. Yeah. I'm sorry. That. That. <laughs> that was you smell? Yeah. Go, <laughs> <laughs> <So>, mama. <coughs> oh, she's such a good girl. So, I'll let you do your thing. Hi, mama. I guess you see that wasn't open, huh? What is she doing in there? What's what's the itinerary? What next? Oh, next we'll get her right to a vet's office because we can see this. We don't know if that's a tumor or mass, uh, abscess. Not really sure. On this episode of Vet Rescue. Ready, girl. Let's get her checked out and have that cross Can't hold her. Get some blood. Hi, baby. Oh, hello. You found an abandoned house. It's an animal world out there. Watch the World Animal Awareness Society channel and feel right at home. Come, sit, subscribe, and stay a while. Which vet's office? Uh, center line. Energize, realize, feel so good just to be alive. Time's a gift, my time is free. I can spend it on you, you can spend it on me. I can say you'll be blown away by the change you see, you see me. And I feel alright, dance alright, put a little flavor in my life. I'm worth the good stuff in. So we're gonna go in and tell them what we caught here. We got an uh, injured dog out in the truck. Uh, she is in bad shape. She's got a cyst or a tumor hanging on her side and uh, is living in an abandoned house. Okay. So you guys got room, hopefully? Yeah. these days aren't you so it looks like she's in heat or something got something going on back here got a huge some type of wound mass on the side here and uh, it's in bad shape oh next we'll get her right to a vet's office because we can see this we don't know if that's a tumor or mass uh, abscess not really sure so she, looks like she's got a mass or something on her side do you want us to wear she's because you can see an overbred this is willa what's willa here see that on her side mom 
Yeah. Well, we just picked her up out of yeah. an abandoned house, so. Aw, see the tumor! Get a heart test on her. Yeah. Get this checked out. This tumor will yeah. have that removed or lanced yeah. or whatever needs to be done. Yeah, they'll poke it and check the cells. She also looks like she might be in heat, so we'll have okay. a little x-ray done to see if she's uh, prego. Sure. If she's early on. Of Hi, baby! She's a girl. Aww. Come on, good girl. What do you think? Come on, Willa. <laughs> Come on, Willa. Okay, ready, girl? Let's get her checked out. Here's that cross side. Yeah, hold her hand. Yeah. Get some blood. Hi, baby. Oh, hello. What you found in the abandoned house? Oh, that poor baby, you sleep too. Yep, she needs a bath. Yeah, we'll give you a flea bath. Make you feel better. Looks like her muscle's a little irritated. You see her muscle? Yeah, what's that about? I don't know. Maybe she's, I don't know, she's been scrounging around for garbage. Maybe, or maybe she got something. All the nails. Oh, oh, step up on your paw. Why aren't you stepping on your paw? There you go. She's a good girl. Yeah. She's a nice girl. She's a good girl. She's like, what? Look at this. She's like, I got out. Yeah, take that dirty collar off. Yeah. Take it off. She's going to be a really pretty shade of white. Oh, yeah. She's there. Oh, I know. There's so much dirt caked in there. I know. You can't get it off. There you go. <laughs> so what are you going to be doing here? I'm just going to draw some blood for a heart because I might draw a little extra in case they want something sent out for the layout that they should have been pumped a couple times. I'd rather just do it all at once in case Dr. Dr. decides. Serious ulcers on it. Yeah. This is just a blood draw. <coughs> Good girl. Good girl. Good girl. <coughs> it's okay. It's okay. Perfect girl. Good job. That's a good, good job. Look at how sweet she is. <laughs> Isn't it funny? That's how all of them are. Yeah, I know. They're so nice. You know, it's like they've been through so much and they're. Yes. Yeah, well, so I, it's sweet. my understanding though. Terry only takes the sweet ones. She That's throws right. the mean ones back. <laughs> I don't think so there's ever. I don't think ones. there are. Yeah, they're not. not Even the ones, ones that you think maybe were are mean, they end up being the most loving ones. <laughs> what do you think? Um, definitely. You want to actually get a bath ready for her? Yeah. And grab some towels. Uh -huh. The ready will pop her right in there. Yep. Get that going. And this is why we love Centerline Vet, because they, oh, they are very attentive to our, our just rescue dogs. Absolutely. You're so terrible. You can feel better. Oh, yeah. 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 Take a look at her muscles. Put her muscle. She could have because she was scrounging around. You know, looking for it's so swollen and Aww. it's got some Poor crusty baby. stuff. Poor baby. Crusty, what's going on? Yeah. She's a girl. Nice girl. Oh, hey, we're gonna fix you. Good girl. Yeah. You're gonna get the best home. Yeah, that's right. Yes, you will. Little Patch Adams there, uh, Jamie. Yeah. <laughs> I know, right? How are you? <laughs> Good. Good. <laughs> but that's kind of part of it. It's like the healing process. I know. Like all these different things, isn't it? Oh, baby. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what's going on? <laughs> Hi, what's going on? I sniffing. What's what is that? <laughs> Did you obviously you guys gave her treats and stuff? Did she oh, eat yeah, chicken? she had a little uh, church's chicken. Oh, no, yeah. I'm sorry, who's chicken? Church's chicken. <laughs> why, why church's chicken? That's the dog's choice. <laughs> they else? love church's chicken the best. Well, Who doesn't love church's chicken? <laughs> right, exactly. It's good chicken. <laughs> we'll work <that. laughs> Yeah. Uh, you ready, Jess? Okay. That feels hard. This tumor on the side. So. What's your name? Destiny. Yeah. Right. We'll have a we'll What? What's? Uh, what are you gonna do right now? Give her a free bath. Oh my! How exciting! Hey, baby. Do you want your tears, or do you want to carry her? Um, I can carry her. Okay, I'm gonna put some tears in her eyes. 
few tears. Basically, this <laughs> can put this in their eyes so the flea, any soap or anything, if it happens to get in their eye, it comes right out. It doesn't like hurt their eyes. Good girl. Good job. Make her for fun at first. Yeah, that's all right. Oh, goodness. Oh, goodness. There we go. Yeah, we, we do that. You can do it like your pets at home with bath too. Really? Pop it in their eyes and you give them a bath. That way in case any soap gets near yeah, their eyes, yeah. it comes right out. Yep. That's our little little trick. <laughs> you ready? Grab that door for you, Justin. Yes, please. Thanks, Teresa. Thank you. Oh, it did heartworm test on her. Uh, what are we calling her? Willa. Willa. Oh, that's pretty. Um, did a heartworm test on her, and unfortunately, it is positive. So. It's another positive one. What do we say, seven this month already? How does the heartworm test work? What, what so it's, a, it's a blood sample. You just drop it in um, a, a test, and it just kind of strolls through and gives you a positive or negative. We can confirm it with uh, checking from like a filaria in the blood, too, but typically it's there. So yeah. Okay. So how many is that for you? Seven since January 1st, and today is the 28th. Yeah, seven heartworm positive dogs. This month alone in January, we had eighteen thousand dollars worth of vet bills. So uh, that's our that's in one month. That's our vet bills are very expensive. So and we still have at least four or five heartworm positive dogs to treat. Look at her. How can we can't leave her behind? We, we can't leave her. Look at her. She needed help. We have to help her. Look at her. That's just so sad. I'm Dr. Heilman at Waverly Animal Hospital, and on this episode of Vet Rescue, we are going to tell you about Halo's story. Energize, realize, feels so good just to be alive. Time's a gift, my time is free. I can spend it on you, you can spend it on me. I can say you'll be blown away by the change you see, you see me. And I feel alright, dance all night, put a little flavor in my life. I'm worth the good stuff in. It's kind of gotten fun out, hasn't it? I know, it got nasty up this way, didn't it? There was a lot of slide out, so it was going slow. So, how was your passenger? Hey, she's doing good. Nice. Okay, um, hold on, hold on, hold on. He is uh, right there, and um, here's the thing. He's sleeping right on that phone, right in, right to the left of where you see, and he's very, very hyper aware. Yeah. I don't think there's anywhere to go back there, is there? Sits, he likes to sit. I'm going tight on the dog. Yeah, sounds good, thanks. Oh, look at that, Wiley. Even in a corner, Wiley. Playing that board. It's okay, Sandy. Sandy, it's okay. Oh, now you gotta stick too. That's so good. That's so good. So, 
See, this dog is probably just going to be the sweetest thing. Look at you, tail wagger. Tail wagger. Look at you. What's your real name? What's your real name? I, I have um, some sausage McMuffin that I brought specifically for Santa. See, this is what I was telling you about. I think someone was here feeding. Would you like some sausage McMuffin? Hey, sweetie. It's all right. Good girl. Good puppy. That's a scary baby. Yeah. She's terrified. Good girl. She doesn't like that. Aww. She's scared. She's scared to death and it smells so bad. Aww. You're so precious. Yeah, they'll, they'll go over everything. My, my vet is actually off today, but she's meeting me in there to get her and go over it. Well, I've been calling her Halo. I was trying to think of something to do with the streets, like oranges, you know, those sure. little halos? Yeah. <laughs> That's kind of fun. Hey, who's our friend? This is Sandy, maybe Halo. Sandy, maybe Detroit Halo. Detroit Stray. <laughs> She's gonna stay overnight tonight. She's got something going on with her back right leg. So she'll get x-rays and things, and then they're gonna try and squeeze her in for grooming, too. Uh, Sky, she's in for a 2 o'clock appointment. Sounds good. We'll get you right in. All right, thank you. Okay, thank you. So we have determined girl. girl? Yes. Okay. It was hard to tell with all the matting. <laughs> yeah. I can't. The, the people, though, that thought she might be theirs, um, their dog's 14, and it's only been missing a week, and I don't think she got in this condition in a week, and I didn't see cataracts, so. But it did appear that she was having trouble seeing. I think she has a sight issue. Yeah, but you see that a lot with little dogs, too. Really? And, and she's got all the matting on her face and stuff, so. Okay. That's so there is a process here. So you just pulled a dog out of the city of Detroit. Mm -hmm. And so it's my understanding you're going to let somebody in the city of Detroit know you have it like animal control. You're yeah, I'll contact Detroit Animal Care and Control. Your county and let them here know. as well. Uh, yeah, actually I'll do Ingham and Eaton County here because we're right on the border. And then um, I'll also post her on the Love of Louie type sites. So... I'll get a good, when we get her out, I'll get a couple good pictures of her. And Girl. Microchip? We're, we're going to scan and find out. Hopefully she has one. That would be so nice. I've never been here when... Yeah, I've never been here. Do you want me to sit down with her, you guys? There is a medical, it should be a medical waste box. Yeah, I'm not sure where you went. I'm sure there is. I'll ask Okay. She's so cute, but she smells so bad. I don't know, she might be six or seven, but I don't think she's 14. Yeah. Aren't you sweet? Aren't you sweet? Oh. Really, at some point in time, there is this, like, disconnect from the animal to people. So the people they knew went away, or she got lost, whatever the case may be. She's got, look at her nose, she's got a unique nose. She does. I was absolutely seeing that when I was You're a doing close-ups. You're a good girl. Oh. Yeah, she's just perfectly content to sit here. Come in. Hello. Hi. I'm Dr. Heilman. Hi. You know Jillian. Hello. I take a so here, this is your one. new rescue. Yeah, we changed her from Sandy to Halo. Halo, I like that. How long have you had her? Um, about two hours. Okay, so you no. just had her. <laughs> yeah. And today, of course, we're going to be checking for a microchip, and then if we don't have one, start their head to tail exam and try to figure out age. It's Something's going on with the, the rear right leg. Okay. So I don't know if it's luxating patella mm -hmm. or what it is, but something. Okay, so. we certainly will take a look there. And I was telling Jennifer about it on the phone. Yeah, so. she, she spoke with me briefly before she had to leave. Okay. All right. Should I bring a scale in? Please. So sweet, but she smells like a sewer. <laughs> she's she's not growled, grumbled, showed teeth, nothing. She just 
When we first came in, she was shaking a little bit, but now she's yeah. just content. Mm -hmm. She looks very content in her arms. Yeah, and I'm not really holding her. She's just sitting. Would you like to say hi? Hi, Miss Halo. Yeah. All right, why don't we start with a weight? You can just borrow her. Good to go. Now, which way are you crossing your fingers? That she has one. <laughs> okay. It would be great if we found a microchip and were able yeah. to reunite her with her owner. Yeah. That's always the, the objective, right? That yeah. is. And most chips are placed subcutaneously between the shoulder blades, but especially in dogs that have a lot of extra skin, sometimes it can migrate, so we like to scan the entire body. Yeah. I'm not finding one on her. Let's so sneak this off here. Yeah, you can, yeah, yeah. You can see you can slide the slide a little bit. I didn't see too much in, like, her eyes, her teeth, though. I don't know. I thought six or seven. You know, she looks pretty young. You think so? It looked like she had a little she bit more. She a little more. bit of heavier tartar on her, her incisors in the front. Not bad for her. My breeze. first she, guess was, like, four to six. I would say but, the younger, that three to five range. Unless awesome. she's had a dental done, which most likely, <laughs> unlikely, yeah, being outside. Yeah, um. <laughs> she has a few loose incisors on the lower mandible. Um, okay. So certainly a dental would, would be in her best interest, taking okay. out those mobile teeth, making her a little more comfortable. Pretty well, good, yeah. and the, the little dogs, I mean, that's uh, I have the two Yorkie mixes in my own yeah. at home. It's like... Yeah, they're genetically predisposed. There's even if you brush their teeth on a twice daily basis, these little dogs have the same amount of teeth as our larger breeds, but crammed it's into all, a smaller yeah. jaw. They get a lot of rotation and malocclusions. You are very brave. She's doing great. Isn't she a good girl? Yeah, she's sweet. We chased her around for three hours last night. <laughs> Was yesterday the first time that you had? That so I was hard. involved. Yeah, yeah, I don't. I don't know when you saw her first time. Um, Nine a.m. yesterday morning, and I stayed with her until we lost her last night. She's fast. <laughs> well, you were picked up at an ideal time because the snow is just coming down. She had a, a garage that was kind of her home base, and there was some foam and stuff in there. So. Checking out your limbs. Yeah. Now you spoke with Dr. Stuhler. Did, did she say if we'd be able to get her groomed today? I know. She said she was going to see if they could okay. work her in. But she, I mean, she's staying with you anyway. Okay. And Jennifer's going right. to take a peek at her too tomorrow. Yeah, so. Absolutely. Um, She'll feel so much better once we get these mats oh, off. Yeah. Now we evaluate the skin a little better. From what I can see, it looks pretty healthy underneath. Yeah, she didn't, I mean, she didn't seem to be outside of being a hot mess, you know, yeah. <laughs> spa-wise. She didn't seem to be in horrible, horrible shape. She does look like she's been having some diarrhea. You know, stress, of course, can cause that. We'll want to check for intestinal parasites. Yeah. And, of course, you know, any new foods can cause a change as well. Oh, well, yeah, and I'm sure she's been eating garbage and things. I'm just trying yeah. to eat anything. Good girl. I fed her Mickey D sausage sandwich yesterday morning, so that qualifies as garbage. Yeah, you've been contributing. I don't know if someone gave me that, I'd get in their car. <laughs> yeah, true. That can't be bad. Right. Hi, oh, gorgeous. You're doing well. Hi. I stopped at the McDonald's down there because they had to use the restroom. Mm -hmm. And you have to get buzzed in to the restroom, and there's oh, like wow. all this bulletproof glass. <laughs> and like really they put your food in, there. in the thing, and it spins, so there's no openings. It was oh my God. very different. Is this your first time to Detroit? <laughs> no, and I've been there before. I just don't usually stop a lot. And here, I mean, I don't lock my car or my house. You know, it's, it's safe it's, around here. 
Yeah, I'll make sure that that doesn't <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> you know what? I, I have two American bullies, a Rottweiler, a Pitbull, and two Yorkies. So you're saying, so. go ahead. Yeah. <laughs> She's saying and the Yorkies will get you. The Yorkies <laughs> absolutely will. Mm -hmm. Most of the rescue community knows my one is Tiny Satan. So <laughs> she's her and uh, Pop I have to lock up when people come over because she actually attacks people. <laughs> Yeah, if she was a big dog, I probably would have had to put her down with her bite history. At least she's a little smaller. We can help control her. So everything is sounding good. I'm not feeling any luxating patellas on either of her knees. Um, she's got really she... good range of motion. And when I palpate down the leg, none of the, the joints feel warm or, or painful. She just seemed a little limpy, but well, maybe yeah. from running, running, running. Well, it could be. You know, I took a look at the paw pads. I don't see any ulcerations or cuts, no broken nails. Look at her just cool. standing there being Aww. such a good girl. Baby. Let's see if we can set her down and see if I can just watch her walk away a little bit. If she, if she, <laughs> she ran forever. I'm but... exhausted. Come here, Peanut. I know, it's kind of overwhelming. It's alright. She's looking for somewhere to hide. She's like, I'm just going to oh, go back here. It's okay. Oh, girly. It's alright. Okay. Come out. Come here, sweetie. She's got a fun that. treat. Yeah. Got I don't think she'll take a treat. She wasn't too. She'll have a bruise. Yeah, the cat treats. My grandson feeds them to my dogs, but a handful in their hair. You want a couple? Just something that smells good. She's like, mm. Hey, look, don't be upset at me so far. Since you've seen me, a bunch of people have been trying to help. I know, it's just too bad they don't know that you're trying to help them, you know? That's all right. That's all right. Come on. Come on, sweetheart. Have a lot of change. Yeah. Hi, gorgeous. Oh, we'll be evaluating those limbs later. Yeah. 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 Well, it'll be easier for her to walk, too. She's so under her arms oh, and stuff. Yeah. She's just so mad. Yes. And she does have pretty She's heavy nails. Pieces of her. netting in her hair. Yeah. You know, oh, so sweet. physical exam-wise, I think the biggest thing we, we have, you know, is just those loose incisors. Uh, it'll be a fairly routine dental procedure. We're scaling and polishing the teeth, removing anything that's mobile to make her a little more comfortable. Um, but she looks pretty good despite you know, all the matting. I think things underneath are looking good. What? Great guess. <laughs> Because she seemed poodly, but I think it's all matte. Yeah, I, I wonder mean, maybe the like Sean some, or some Sean or maybe a Malfoy cheese. Mix. That was the other yeah. one I saw. Yeah, said. I think she's probably white under there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, you can see she's got a little bit of the cream. Yeah, I need to see something. So, what was our plan today? Do we want to start on some of her wellness services? Like, you know, yeah, for she, she needs our vaccines. Okay. She needs yeah, yeah. our work for us. And, um, Marissa, how do you normally pay for these things? Um, it usually goes on my account and I do donations. Okay, so if people are interested in donating towards um, Halo's care, care yeah, they care. can call the vet directly. On this episode of Vet Rescue. We have Meadow. So you'll see here the little drain tube that we got. So she had a really nasty wound there. Yeah. So that's a quite significant little abscess oh, she had there. Yeah. yeah. So. Look at that, that's awesome. Yeah. Let me see that. I know you don't want to show me. Here, you don't want to yeah, show me. Yeah, I can take her out. Energize, realize, feels so good just to be alive. Time's a gift, my time is free. I can spend it on you, you can spend it on me. I can say you'll be blown away by the change you see, you see. person who was walking home and witnessed this dog get hit by a car. He said the dog was kind of following him and uh, 
fell over, like laid down and things. And so we rushed to the uh, location and picked him up, brought him here. Okay. But he does seem able to, you know, he's able to stand right now. So, but our witness actually saw him get hit by a car. So we definitely know he was hit. Hi, buddy. No anything so, on him? No. So we got our doctor here coming in. Dr. Hatfield, she's a new doctor here. This is Tom from World World. Hi, Dr. Hatfield. How are you? So, think we can get him up on the table, or do you want to just examine him down here? Okay. Now, the witness said that he was limping significantly, but we don't see that now. So maybe he was just stunned. My buddy. Yeah, poor thing. My buddy. Yeah. What are you doing, Doc? I'm just listening to his heart, make sure his heart rate's good and stable. What are the things that you usually do when a dog such as this comes in? We also scan him for a microchip usually pretty much right away. Just to see. So is this guy just out on the street? I guess. I was just listening to his heart and his lungs, making sure that he can take good breaths and that one of the things that happens when they get hit by cars is they can get fractures to their ribs. Come by, buddy. Let me check your mucous membranes. Make sure you're perfus perfusing. Okay, I know. I know, I know. I don't want that. He's good and pink, so that's a good sign. I know. Yeah, that's not fun. Oh, okay. Overall, he's stable, so that's good. The next thing to do is like she said uh, you know get check his microchip make sure it whether he has a home or not and then we're gonna look for any signs of breaks in his bones and probably you know recommend radiographs and making sure that you know he's good otherwise and one of the things we like to do is chest radiographs make sure we don't see any lung contusions or anything yeah right now he seems stable um, you know and, Obviously, we can't see what's going on internally, but, you know, his mucous membranes are pink, which means he's perfusing nicely. His heart rate is good. His lungs sound good. He's taking good breaths, and um, it doesn't look like he's having any difficulty that way. I noticed this. Yeah, it looks like he might be, something might be wrong with his leg here. I'll um, examine it more when we have someone to help me, and we'll probably take some radiographs to make sure we don't see any fractures or anything like that. And then it looks like he does have some double dew claws here. <laughs> oh, is that is that like a... Yeah, these are his dew claws. And it looks like he's double dew clawed, like he has two instead of one. Is that uh, a unique thing? Uh, yeah, it is pretty unique. I've, I haven't seen it yet, so... <laughs> hey, buddy. He's very interested in him. He's intact, right? Do we have a, he is a cute boy. He's stable. But this uh, back leg looks like he's definitely going to need some radiographs. Look at your phone. Look at you. I mean, you're so friendly. How old do you think he is? He looks older than not. It looks like he has all his adult teeth in. Can you see? And they don't look like there's a lot of tartar on them. So we usually go for, you know, once the adult teeth are in and there's not much tartar, usually one to two years of age. If there's a lot of tartar, then maybe over two or five years old is usually. Because although he physically, in terms of his looking movement, looks a little old, when you actually look at he, he, some of his movements, he looks youthful. Yeah. Well, we rescued a dog today and uh, that was hit by a car, and so after we secure the dogs, then we share with uh, a page run by Detroit Animal Control that we are in possession of the dog so that they know, in case somebody comes looking for their dog at Detroit Animal Control, they know that we have the dog and where the dog is and how we can be reached to return the dog to a potential owner. So there is a protocol. You Absolutely. have to always interact. I do that for every dog that we find that's stray in Detroit. And not only do we do that, but then we also contact the Macomb County Sheriff's Office and we let them know that we have picked up a dog in, in Detroit and that now the dog is uh, currently was moved to Macomb County for a stray hold in medical care. So we email 
um, to Macomb County every dog that we pick up in Detroit and bring here so that they are also aware. And we also let them know that we have contacted Detroit Animal Control. So there's no question we're in possession of this dog, how we got the dog, and where the dog is located. Okay, so back here. We actually are low on dogs right now at the vet's office here. So this is our sweet girl Pepper. Pepper. with a prolapsed rectum. Um, and so she was in her Today? Yeah. A uh, finder. Somebody pulled, saw the dog running on I-94 and they stopped their car and he jumped in. So, but that now dog is claimed by you. So you work with people who do that kind of thing. You say, on our behalf, go ahead and take it over. Well, we would have directed them to take it to DAC, but they're not open today to the public. So she, because the dog looks healthy and he looked down and he wasn't hit by a car. So then we say, and he's a husky, so we're going to say this dog's probably owned and he looked in fairly good shape. But DAC was not open to the public today, so then we agreed, yes, bring him into our veterinary hospital. So we've already posted him up on a site run by Detroit Animal Control. We've posted him on For the Love of Louie as well as our site so that if there's somebody that owns him, they can identify him and come and get him. Okay. And then we have, so we have Meadow. So you'll see here the little drain tube that we got. So she had a really nasty wound. Do you have a name picked out for this dog by any chance? Mm-mm. Okay. Yeah, you name it whatever you want. So, yeah. So that's a quite significant little abscess oh, she had there. Oh, goodness, yeah. yeah. So. Look at that. That's awful. Yeah. Let me see that. I know you don't want to show me. Let's see here. I know you don't want to show me. I can pick her up. I know you don't want to show me. That's good. That's good. That's good. That's good. I know you. It's no fun. I know. That hurts, doesn't it? Okay. Prognosis for Meadow? Well, I believe she'll be fine. You know, she's on some um, strong antibiotics, and she's being monitored here. Um, at a wonderful vet clinic, so I, she'll be fine. And she's young; she's only eight months eight months old. New so. guy. Here. He does have a microchip. He does. Yeah. Um, so that one again? He does have a microchip. Yeah, it came up with information, but now it's gone. Okay, <laughs> we'll get it. We'll get it. Yeah. The sixty-nine. Oh, thank you. Sixty-nine. Looks like it. You're skinny. Come on. You gotta gain some weight, mister! Yeah, He's 69 pounds. You're only 69 He's skinny. Come on! Come on! Goodness, that's like a Neapolitan! That's what I was like, he's gotta be a lot more weight than that. Hi, kids. X-ray! X-ray! Good boy. Are you seeing something that looks... I can't talk anything because I'm the technician. I'm not allowed to diagnose. Very good. Right. You're doing so good. Good boy. Good boy. Good boy. Good boy. Good boy. Yay! Who is such a good boy? Hang on in there. I'll see what else Dr. Amanda wants done. Polydactyl. And they call it what? It's polydactyl. Polydactyl. Yeah. We need those nails trimmed. My goodness, those are long. He's your boy. Ooh, what is he eating? I know. Yeah, that looks okay though. Yeah. 
So nothing obvious. And then so I try good. to get more of the leg. Because it's a, the right the right little leg is the one that he's looking on. Okay. So I don't okay. know. Do I need to get more um, um, lower of the leg? No, I think you're good for now. It's just basically to make sure he didn't have any obvious trauma and stuff. But yeah. Definitely, like he was sensitive. And right. Like and he might have gotten whacked pretty good there because he looks okay. I think right. Yeah. Everything's in place, but there could be could be fractures there, maybe. But we'll see how he's feeling over the next few days and see how he does. So can I put him back now? Yeah. We're just gonna do so little with him. a little. You know, it's it's questionable because his acetabulum have a little fracture. I don't think so, but I still would keep him cage rested. Yeah. Everything else looks okay. I don't know what he's been eating, but tons of bones and minerally stuff in his gut and in his colon. Yeah, that's some. And this is his colon coming through here, and that brighter white is more mineral, so like bony yeah. stuff. And then you can see this is the back edge of his stomach has a bunch in it too. So eating who knows what, either eat. Somebody fed him some chicken, or probably maybe whatever, found something off the street. Probably whatever he can, exactly. since he's not very. Yeah. Yeah, he looks like he's been scraping. So I was just saying, it doesn't look like anything obvious. Maybe the, I mean, you know, maybe a, a little hairline there, but nothing bad. So we'll keep an eye, you know, have yeah, him rest. Yeah, because that leg yeah. really far back. Because the laterals looked okay. On it. Um, okay. But I, said, I don't know what he's been eating, but he's got a lot of, a lot of bony stuff in there. Okay. Yeah, I don't see anything too yeah. obvious, so we'll keep a close eye on him. Poor little man. Because okay. yeah. it was the right he's sore on more, so. Yeah, it's the right yeah. that he keeps extending. So he might but he'll walk on it, but then he'll, he got when he stands down. there, he yeah. extends it. Okay. So we'll see how he's, see how he does. That dog is not being fed properly at all. Doesn't sound like it, but but we don't what know. Happens with them? We don't know what happened. Maybe the dog's been missing for you know three weeks, and so what happens is then they. Dogs are not good hunters. They're actually scavengers. So they'll scavenge and eat anything when they when they can't find a food source. So maybe the dog got away from someone two or three weeks ago, or this happens a lot in Detroit too. Your house gets broken into, and the burglars come in and take what they want and leave the doors open, and your dog gets out. That happens all the time. We get calls about that all the time. And so then people don't know, did the burglars steal their dogs, or did the burglars take their dog? So we don't know. We never know the situation, so we never prejudge a situation. We want to make contact with the owners and say, hey, we found your dog. You know, how long, when's the last time you saw your dog? Was it lost? Are you looking for your dog? And we also have people, unfortunately, they go to prison. So then they leave their dog behind with a family member to watch, and then they don't. The dog gets away. Or people die in Detroit, and then nobody really knows what happens to their animals. So there's a lot of things that happen in the city, and it's up to us to determine those things, to decide whether or not a dog should go back to their owner or not. So Cedron just contacted us, and they said that uh, the microchip company in one gave them some telephone numbers uh, registered to the microchip, and they called those numbers, and neither one are working numbers. So... The, uh, the numbers they have are not uh, currently working, but they do have an address and they're going to forward that address to me and tomorrow I'll go by and try to make contact um, with the homeowner and see if uh, we picked up their dog. Energize, realize, feel so good just to be alive. Time's a gift, my time is free. I can spend it on you, you can spend it on me. I can say you'll be blown away by the change you see, you see me. And I feel alright, dance all night. is a rescue, huh? Yes, they, someone found him in a box um, with a ginormous head, uh, infected head, you couldn't even see his eye. Oh my God. Oh, this is not good. Oh, I know, you see all that blood? Yeah, he, this dog needs to see a vet immediately. Two kind Samaritans found him, as you can see, he is uh, severely, severely injured. He was just not a puppy at all. Um, we ended up taking x-rays of his head and he ends up having a, a broken jaw. Um, yeah, I said love you. He had a severe infection, as you can see the drain tubes. And we were afraid of this eye. We may not even be able to save this eye here. We're waiting to see if it clears up. Um, the infection clears up. Hopefully we can save it. If not, he may need to be enucleated. Um, but he is just the sweetest boy ever, too, man. We love you, my boy. Yes, we do. Um, and he's, oh my gosh, a ton better than he was when we seen him, man. He was a mess.
Yes, you were. You was a mess. So we had our board certified radiologist come in and we sedated Courage and took some more x-rays and it's healing nicely. He's doing great. Uh, the radiologist had said when Courage was originally presented to us, the wound might have been a week and a half, two weeks old, which is really heartbreaking to know that this little guy for two weeks uh, was in that much pain. Okay, so now, oh, Megan. Megan? we'll look at a couple of things. Anytime we're looking at an x-ray, a radiograph, anything that's black is air, like the air surrounding our baby. And anything that's whiter is something that would absorb x-rays, like lead letters, bones, or soft tissue. So keeping that in mind, this is the uh, radiograph or one of the radiographs or actually as we exposed um, initially on the uh, 29th of last month and we're looking and we can see the um, this area here where this mandibular fracture is we see a degree of uh, bone or bone a jaw fracture we can see some bone starting to want to heal and remodel in here and here we can see where the break is uh, the other side, this would be the right side, this is the left side. The other side, as you can see, is nice, nicely lined up. Uh, we are also seeing here on the top of the skull, some area here where we're suspicious there might have been some injury here around the frontal sinus. Uh, we're seeing some gas under here, which we noted, along with other soft tissues, there was gas and pus, and I believe it's coming here from the sinus. Uh, we see all this sw soft tissue swelling here, which was that abscess that we had seen. This structure here. That's the trachea tube. The trach tube. The baby was under anesthesia while we were doing this. Um, let's see. Look at our next can, radiograph. Can you extrapolate though the type of trauma from when you, I mean are you somewhat of a, a detective too so when you see all of this stuff you try to like piece together well how does this happen you know. You try but it, sometimes it's hard and so it's at this stage you don't know it could be any, anything. It could be some fall, it could be a uh, dog fight, it could be uh, some other type of uh, 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 other type of trauma. It's hard to say. Mm -hmm. We're looking here. Uh, we can see here. This is called the zygomatic arch, and we can see here on the affected side that there's a, a fracture there. Uh, which is consistent, which uh, just makes you wonder. Then here, here's the area of the fracture. We also noticed it when we were had this baby under anesthesia that one of the teeth on the mandible or the jaw was, was fractured as well. And once this is healed up, then we will uh, take care of that and get that fractured tooth out. So then if we go back here to today, or go forward, I should say. So, so this was just today. Some fresh rays. These radiographs. radiographs were exposed today. We can get this up to full size. We can even make it bigger if it makes it easier. Oh, that's great. Um, yeah. We see even more of what we call periosteal reaction. This is the fracture zone, and that's it's doing okay. Here's that fractured tooth, but there's nothing getting upset under here. No, that tissue is pretty happy, and. Uh, we like seeing that. We see this area of the frontal sinus. We certainly don't see all that soft tissue and gas density. Again, anything that's black is air in here. So this is improving a lot. We don't have the soft tissue density. Of course, the drain tubes are out. And, and that's from infection that the soft tissue and the gases take well, place? Well, it, it doesn't have to be, but in this case, it certainly was because we know we had all that pus in the, in the uh, pocket. And this pet was under anesthesia again at this time. That's where this line is. That's the trach tube. tube. Now let's see if we move forward. We have another one. We can kind of rotate this around and get this up to full size. Yeah. And here we see a more, uh, it, it's easier to see that fracture on the right zygomatic arch. That heals. Do okay. It's okay. We'll keep track of that. And um, we're doing okay. Here's the area. It's harder to see on the left side on that mandibular fracture. Uh, the um, dental occlusion is not bad. Teeth come together pretty nicely. And so I'm hopeful that uh, we'll have a good situation for this baby. We're doing a lot better. Side of the jaw, and that is 
he was is healing really nicely and I do not believe we're gonna need to do any type of surgery on that at least at this point so I'm really impressed when, when she picked courage up originally she just didn't think courage was gonna make it when you first saw that dog did you think well this chances are pretty slim that this dog's gonna make it I thought he'd make it I thought we could we, if, if, as long as he could get that abscess draining I thought he'd make it I, th I, I did I didn't I've seen things get bad but I thought he'd make it. He has they have young cells. So he's not an old dog. He was a baby. He's just a youngster. On the plus side, like I said, we're healing. We're doing great. So we're on the up and up. Um, to know that the outcome is going to be a positive for Courage is absolutely wonderful. And to know that we're part of this uh, is wonderful as well. So we see nothing but good things for Courage. Thank you for watching Dog Rescue TV. You're helping save dogs by watching this video. That's all for now. See you again soon.